they had too much pain in their eyes they had so much regret later on in this video i'll talk about the lack of fulfillment that parents have when i talk about the netflix series called champion she's 22 and she has two kids pregnant with her third married i should probably get a real job get a real job buddy and it just made me realize that hmm i don't know Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If this is your first time on my channel, I make commentary videos, music commentary, lifestyle, and vlogs. Welcome, feel free to subscribe. And yeah, if you end up enjoying this video, make sure you like and leave a comment. I was inspired to make this video when I came across a video that Viola Davis made. I believe it was my mom that sent it to me and my mom wanted to watch like the whole video, like the whole movie. And Viola Davis is the woman that acted How to Get Away with Murder. Who I am is a 53 year old woman from Memphis, Tennessee named Anna Mae Harkness. And when my mom sent me that movie and I don't know what the movie is called but yeah she wanted to watch it and when I watched that clip she sent me it was so intense and so real it felt so real I know it's a movie but it felt so real not easy for me to admit that I've been standing in the same place for 18 years well, I've been standing with you I've been right here with you Troy I got a life too I gave 18 years of my life to stand in the same spot as you. Don't you think I ever wanted other things? Don't you think I had dreams and hopes? What about my life? What about me? Don't you think I ever crossed my mind and wanted no other men? That I wanted to lay up somewhere and forget about my responsibilities? That I wanted someone to make me laugh so I could feel good? You're not the only one who's got wants and needs, but I held on to your toy. I took all my feelings my wants and needs and dreams and I buried them inside you I planted a seed and watched and prayed over I planted myself inside you and waited to bloom it didn't take me no 18 years to realize the soil was hard and rocky and it was never gonna bloom and the sad thing is a lot of people this is their lives like this is their real life yeah I watched that movie and it just made me realize that Hmm, you're not the only one with dreams. Everyone has a dream. Your parents has a dream or had one. That homeless person you see down the street, they had a dream. Your teacher teaching biology has a dream or had one. And the thing is, for me personally, I was in a stage, in a phase um, not so long ago where do I drop my dream and just pursue this corporate, more stable side? You need to get a real job. That's just a hobby. Why not pick a career with more stability? Like, I'm just at a point in life where it's like, okay, so what next? People are having families now, apparently. Me, she's 22, and she has two kids. Pregnant with her third, married. There's that, but then what next? It's either you go hard on your dream joy or you go this other route. There's no time for fiddling or messing around. You go big or go home. I was in this phase where I'm like, oh no, like I'm not a teenager anymore. I'm too old to pursue my dream. And then I saw that video of Viola Davis and that man and oh my God, I'm like, I don't want this to be me. The truth is, if you don't at least try, you're going to regret it and you're going to regret it a lot. From that video, you can see that Viola Davis and the man they looked like they were husband and wife they had so much pain in their eyes they had so much regret they had so many things that they wanted to do that they couldn't do and they are not happy together which leads me to my next point is that yes age is important depending on the kind of dream you want to achieve it is very important but i believe right now a lot of us are in our 20s are feeling like we're too old i just made a video why is our society obsessed with teenagers and the idea of being forever young and it's just it rubs off on you and you just feel like i should probably get a real job get a real job buddy and stop pursuing this one thing i want to do that i've dreamed of doing my whole life and it's like why are you feeling so old in your 20s like it's insane and if you want to know more about that you can go check out that video I made and later on in this video I'll talk about the lack of fulfillment that parents have when I talk about the Netflix series called Champion I'm not going back to the restaurant mom 
I don't want to dwell too much on like age and the entertainment industry and like movie and acting because I touched more on those in the video I just uploaded so you can check that out but you're not too old to start now you're in your freaking 20s and if you're in your 30s watching this you're in your freaking 30s you're not too old and I came across a video it's like God has just been speaking to me through multiple ways I came across a video of I've forgotten her name now but she acted Empire and she's been lots of movies Oh, so you're saying you're not firing me because I'm a woman. And I came across a clip. It was something I saved before, but then I came across it again when I was just like, you know what? I'm at a crossroads. Is that I go big or go home? Is that how you grind and pursue this dream or you just find a nine to five job and deal with it? And she was like, she moved to Los Angeles when she was 26. And a lot of people were telling her, moved to California with $700 in my pocket and my toddler. And I have to fight the good fight because people are telling me i can't you can't do this you can't are you crazy you're moving to california with your son you'll never make it i was 26 when i decided to come here i was 26 when i decided to come here there's the age thing oh you're too old if you listen to people and if you allow people to project their fears onto you you won't live she was freaking 26 and i'm like joy do you need any more do you need any more confirmation and then i came across proverbs 31 now i've known about that verse my whole freaking life and i have never heard preachers say they usually just say get yourself a proverbs 31 woman she takes care of her household she's a good wife she's a good mother she wakes up early she stays up late this day i got this revelation on it and basically the proverbs 31 woman she's a wife she's a mother she's a business woman and she's freaking amazing like she gets up before dawn to prepare breakfast for her household and plan the day's work for her servant girls. She goes to inspect the field and buys it. With her earnings, she plants a vineyard. She is energetic and strong, a hard worker. She makes sure her dealings are profitable. Her lamp burns late into the night. She's all these things and churches never really talk about it. Pastors' wives never really talk about it. That verse has never spoken to me that way before. And I really cannot do it justice and explain the revelation I got from that verse. But it just opened my eyes that yes, I can be a wife and be a mother and be a businesswoman and pursue my dreams. Make good with the time you have right now because you will not always be in your 20s. And forget the fact that society is trying to make us feel like 20s is the new 40s. Like that's crazy. And today when I was watching a YouTube video I came across a comment and I saw this man saying that he's 64 years old and he's trying to learn um was he video editing or music and I was just like wow that's interesting like what excuse do I have in my freaking 20s if this man in his 60s is pursuing something like what I'm coming to learn you know being in a relationship and whatnot is that your partner your boyfriend your girlfriend they cannot be the only source that completes you that gives you joy they can't when you're in the la la stage you know the honeymoon phase yeah sure but that doesn't last forever that fades off pretty quick and what's going to give you joy and purpose and meaning is your dream your career path whatever you choose to do and i've quitted steve jobs and i'm going to quit him one more time life is just this hollow void of nothing without purpose and without drive and without vision and without goals and you cannot find all that in your spouse and yes you might find purpose in being a mother but your kids will grow up and leave you and if you make them your whole world what are you gonna do when they leave which brings me to my next point i did watch this netflix series called Called champion is a UK ting. Is a UK ting. Oh my god. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Not on a Friday ting. In this Netflix series, Champion, the mom, she was the parent of these two kids that dived into music and unknowingly to the kids, the mom was a musician herself. And the only reason why she didn't continue pursuing a music career is because she got married very early. She had kids very early. Maybe I was this? Before Bosco was born, she was 21. This man that she gave up everything for. She was perfect. She was. But why did she stop? <sighs> she make her own decisions. They ended up getting divorced. Her kids ended up, you know, growing up and just started pursuing their career. And as it so would happen, both her children are into music. And at some point in the series, you would see that she got triggered. I was just gone. So you came around and maybe I Whenever her daughter especially would come to her I can't believe that he To take any 
anything that belongs to me. You know, or oh mom or these when she sees her daughter doing things, she gets triggered. To me, I'm like, do you hate your child? Like, woman, what's going on? It took the only thing I've ever had for myself and ruined it. Sorry. I was paying tribute to you, mom. I wasn't taking anything from you. Paying tribute to me. I never asked you to do that. I just, I just don't get you. You always support Bosco, but it's different with me. You're not strong enough to do this, Vita. And the sooner you see that, the better. You're so closed off, I don't even know if you love or hate me. So where did being strong ever get you? You must think I'm one of your little friends. No, I don't. Because friends like each other, and you don't like me at all. Furthermore, friends aren't jealous of each other. Tell me how you can be jealous of your own daughter. You're meant to support me. Me. And as the series unfolds, you get to see that she was a musician as well, the mom. And unfortunately, she couldn't really pursue her dream as much as she wanted. And then each time she sees her daughter blossoming and getting bigger and bigger and people chanting her name, that was just like a huge trigger for her. She had this hole in her heart, this hole that couldn't be filled. Even if her marriage didn't fail, even if she didn't get divorced, she would still have her kids that is succeeding in the career that she wanted. And I've always had this thing that I never want to be the mom that will watch my kids and yes i'm happy for them because they're my freaking children but then it would just be always this bittersweet thing that i wish i had actually given all i've got to my dream and what i wanted to do and i never want to be that and just watching that woman in that movie i'm just like whoa and the pain in her eyes and some of you might be watching this being like girl you're just talking to us based on movies well let me tell you movies are people's real lives if you don't pursue your dream because you're afraid because you feel like you're too old you're going to have regrets yes it's going to take time and hard work i just want to say to everybody who has a dream i want you to look at this as an example this um this award was a 15-year pursuit I moved to LA in 2009. But in conclusion, do not let the world's current definition of youth stop you from pursuing your dream. I'm pretty sure a lot of you watching, if your parents had the opportunity that you did, they will be so grateful and they will pursue their dream. Stop waiting till you're ready. There will never be a light bulb moment that'll make you feel like you're ready. So like, go for it now while you still can. Stay grounded and know that you're on the right path and you're doing the right thing. And for those of you that believe in Christ, that's how I stay grounded because it was just heavy thing in my heart. Honestly, if I give this all I've got and I don't make it to the Grammys or what, whatever, I would know. Like, I would still be freaking proud because I'll be like, yes, you actually pursued this dream vigorously. You did everything. You embraced every opportunity. You literally gave it your all. It just didn't work out. I won't have any regrets. But yeah, um, that is pretty much everything I wanted to say. You're not the only one with dreams. Your parents had dreams too. That uncle you see that is a bum that cousin that looks like they're the black sheep of the family they all had dreams but something happened that they couldn't pursue their dream honestly i wouldn't tell i can't explain to you guys how insane the day that my mom told me my dad was into photography videography and so many things were just making sense like tara Henson said if you listen to the world you will not leave let that sink in and that being said, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, let me know what your dreams and your goals are. I love you guys so much. I'll see y'all next week. Bye guys. Bye.